Uh, guys, uh, this is a, is a video, well, another video. This time uh, we are working on a 2009 Vauxhall Insignia. And this is the 2.0 CTDI. The engine code is the A20DTH. I think I got that right. Um, so this car came to me with, uh, uh, well, with one problem that uh, um, the, this car came from came from uh, from another place, uh, and uh, they thought uh, the 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 wall symptoms were related with an issue that the car came with. And while the car came with this, obviously it's not happening now. But uh, the car came uh, with uh, uh, DPF uh, blocked, basically. Every time you turn the key, it would come on on the screen saying DPF uh, full or something like that. Uh, so when I uh, plugged in the machine, um, and I've done all these using the, the DS708, for you guys that follow my videos, you know I, I own that machine and I can confirm it does all this work. So what I've done is, I've uh, the DPF was like 200 and something percent uh, full. Um, so what I've done is, I've removed the DPF, I've given it a good clean manually. I mean a good clean using a pressure wash and few chemicals. Um, I've cleaned the filter, put everything back on. Uh, done a DPF reset, I've done a static uh, regeneration and uh, the fault is gone. The car came to me in limp mode and um, I drove the car after that, after all this done and funny enough the car still get into limp mode and what the car does is if 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 I if I take over slowly, the car goes fine. As soon as you push a little bit harder, and the, the the car goes into limp mode, basically. And it doesn't matter what RPMs you are on, it just does that. If you pull your hand for quite a long time, it does that. And I'm going to explain you exactly what was happening, but that that that's why it was doing. It was going to limp mode, and funny enough, it would clear itself. Um, if you drive like steady again for like five minutes or so, even less than that, the, the fault would clear itself and you could pull it again until it went, until it, you, it would go into limp mode again. Under the engine ECU was only one fault for the airflow meter performance. Something like that. Uh, I believe it was P2280 something, dash 52. Now, the Dash 52 is quite important though, uh, because what, what the, the, the fault means is that uh, the reading of the airflow meter is, it, it was too high, it was above the threshold for over t uh, 4 seconds. And that what triggers the fault and uh, it's what puts the car into limp mode. I've... Um, I've cleared the fault. The fault comes on, comes up straight away as soon as the the, the car does that. Uh, behaves like as soon as it goes onto the, uh, the the limp mode again. If you pull it hard, blah blah blah. So it just happened again. So I drove the car for about twenty minutes, tried to figure out what was wrong with it, and um, and when I was driving the car, I was was a funny noise coming from the front of the car. Maybe you guys already came across this fault. Um, if you are looking to this video, you probably have a rough idea of what is wrong with your car already, or maybe not. This is quite a common issue, as I've found out now. It's a quite common issue on these cars. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly what was causing the problem. And what was causing the problem is a hair leak on the intake system. Okay? So... Bear in mind with me, I will show you in a second what, what, what was wrong. So this is the engine bay, and the problem is, you see this plastic pipe? 
this is it, this is is connected straight into the throttle body into the intake manifold but connecting to this pipe you have that hose in there so I've unclipped this hose already and to remove this the best way to remove this pipe is by removing this grill this grill out you take this out that gives you access to this jubilee clip okay you undo the jubilee clip you take it off and now the pipe just slides out I haven't took the pipe yet it's the first time I'm gonna do it but I've checked already what the problem is I'm gonna try to do this without stopping the video there we go it's coming and I'm gonna show you here exactly what the problem is the problem is there I hope you can see that so this pipe is cracked and it's cracked in more than one place actually look there as well I don't know if there's a, there is any more cracks but it doesn't look like so I believe it's only those two cracks in there but these cracks I don't know if you you can't really see it but the cracks they go all the way through no you're not gonna be able to see it but the cracks they go all the way through so this is where the leak is and uh, and obviously this is why it's triggering that code so I hope that helped you guys to diagnose your fault uh, and uh, any questions please just uh, put them below thank you for watching